Hey, 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 good looking. Wanna see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? We'll grab a hold of that vine, swing on in my kitchen, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, I'm gonna sit there and show you how easy it is to make deli style shaved roast beef. So save yourself some money and make it yourself. It's soy vey time. Today, we're gonna be sitting there doing a chuck roast. So, there's a lot to do, and we have a long time before we're going to be able to sit there and enjoy this beauty. Okay, what I have here is a three pound chuck roast. Now, what I do first before I start doing my surveying is I literally season all sides of this with some kosher salt and then I take it over to a hot cast iron pan that I have heating up on my stove and I'm just going to sit there and sear all the sides of the roast. So I'm going to sit there and season the, the roast up here with salt and pepper. Let me go ahead and get some pepper. And I'm going to finish seasoning it all up. And there it is. Searing up on one side. Now I'm going to be flipping it soon and I'm going to sear it on this other side and also I want to sear it on the ends as well. And roll that beautifully seared chuck roast video. And here as you see I have seared all sides and as you see, I want you to see it really good because don't forget, this is that layer of flavor that we all savor. Now, I'm going to sit there and go and get my food preserver and I'm going to make a bag large enough to accommodate my three pound chuck roast here. All right, I have my food saver bag. I'm just going to set that off to the side because there's a few things that I like to do before I put my roast into the food saver bag. Now, you don't have to do this step. You can just sit there and put the roast right into your food saver bag and seal it all up, but I like to take it just a little bit further because I like these layers of flavor that we all like to savor. and. I really like putting some of the French onion soup base all onto the roast. So that's what I'm going to sit here and do with this. So let's go ahead and I'm going to sit there and say sorry ahead of time because I am so notorious for bumping the camera and I don't mean to people. So. I'm sorry, but I'm a camera bumper. <laughs> so we're going to sit there, spread some of this all down. I'm going to bring it a little closer so I can work on it. And also while I'm sitting there spreading the French onion soup mix down onto the meat and patting it in. I also like to take some of the morels that I ground up and I made a mushroom powder into. Well, I like sitting there taking some of that as well. I'm not a mushroom lover, but my family is. And there is really something to having the mushroom powder on there as well. I hate to admit it being a non-mushroom eater, but it does 
add a very good layer of flavor. Now repeat it and do the same thing on this side. All right, I have it all spread out nice and evenly. Now grab that food saver bag, open it up, and remember, try not to touch the top of your bag because that's where we're going to be resealing it and you don't want anything to uh, compromise your food seal. So I'm going to sit there fold my top of the bag over so I don't compromise it. I folded it over and now let's just grab our roast and place it inside of our food saver bag as such. Set that down and I'm going to just clean up my workspace. I'll be right back. Okay, now go ahead and bring up the folded sides and now take it over to your food preserver machine and vacuum seal this baby all up. I'll be right back as soon as I'm done doing that. Alright, I have our roast all vacuum sealed up. Now I have brought over my stock pot and I have it roughly a little larger than halfway full of water. Here's my save machine and I'm just going to sit there and clip it onto the side and I'm going to have to put more water in because as you see on mine there's a max and there's a minimum well I'm below what they don't want you to be even though that I'm going to be submerging this I'm going to also calculate evaporation time in the period that this is also going to be cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some more water to mine. And there, as you see, I went ahead and I added more water. And now we're going to sit there and submerge our chuck roast right down on in. And now I'm going to sit there and plug in the V. Now let's go ahead and set the temperature to 135. Okay, and now we're going to be sitting there setting the time. And you can sit there and cook this from anywhere from 24 hours all the way up to 36 hours. So you decide how long. Now let's set the time. And I'm going to go with the 24 hours. So, I'm going to turn it on, and basically, folks, this is truly a set it and forget it. So, anywhere from 24 to 36 hours, I'll be eating this chuck roast up, and you're going to be coming along with me. It's so soy <laughs> Well, our soy machine has sounded off. So let's go in and grab our chuck roast. Oh my God, does it look good. Let's put it on our cutting board. I mean, do you see what I see? Oh my God. Look at that. I am so glad I seared it first. 
I know, Leo. I know. Perfection. You said it. Now, I'm just going to sit there and allow this to rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to open up the bag and I'm going to sit there and slice it or take a slice for you guys. And then I'm going to put the rest of it into the refrigerator to chill it so I can get really thin deli slice slices. All right, now let's sit there and open up our food saver bag. And I'm going to go grab a meat fork and we'll bring it out onto the cutting board. Okay, I'm going to put my meat fork down for one second because I have a saucepan here and as you see, there's all these beautiful juices. Well, I'm going to save them juices because I'm going to show you a few ways of how you could sit there and use this beautiful roast all up after you cooked it the Sylvie style way. So I'm going to pour all them juices in the pan down below. And I'm going to put that pan off to the side. Okay, now I'm going to sit there and remove this beautiful roast. Place it down onto our cutting board. Now, let's go ahead and slice this baby up. Oh, yes. Let's bring that over. Look at that. Let's give it a taste test. Oh, it's so tender. Even with my bad arthritis. Mmm, that is good. And here we sliced it all up, deli style. Now you could use this as lunch meat or as some of the following ways. Oy vey, that's so soy vey. That's how easy it was to make your very own deli style shaved roast beef. Now, if you liked what you saw here today, give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with the others. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you always be notified every time I do put out a new video. And happy cooking, but better yet, happy eatings. And y'all come back now. Be here. And thank you for taking the time to watch my videos.